In today's video, we're going to be talking about the people that tell themselves that they don't want to stack silver. There are three really popular excuses that they like to make, and I'm going to be explaining why they are wrong. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, we're going to be talking about silver and gold, precious metal stacking, excuses that people like to make. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. We're going to be talking about some of the most common objections people make, and I'm going to be combating those objections. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really 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 appreciate it any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today is sunday july 11th 2021 it's actually friday july 9th as i'm recording this video filming it in advance because i have a crazy weekend ahead of me and i'm not going to be able to film or edit any videos so i'm pre-recording them but today I wanted to talk about some of the excuses that a lot of people make. And by the way, in no way, shape, or form is this video intended to convince the people who are dead set on not stacking silver. 100% God's honest truth. If you don't want to stack silver, that's perfectly okay with me. This video is not to throw shade or pass any judgment or anything like that. I just want to explain three really common excuses that people make and how, to me, they don't exactly align with reality. Over the last couple of years of stacking silver, about three and a half years to be more specific, I've been documenting the entire journey for me. I made a video at the local coin shop when I picked up my very first piece of silver ever, a little one troy ounce generic silver round, my very first piece. And I've been documenting the silver stacking journey ever since. And here we are three and a half years later. I've learned quite a bit about silver. And what's funny is, one of the things that I learned about silver is that there are quite a few people out there who claim to not like silver, and yet they watch these videos about silver and have conversations about silver anyway. Which I think is actually, number one, funny, but two, and more importantly, I think that's something special about silver. Whether you love it or you hate it, you're still paying attention. Whether you love it or you hate it, you can't take your eyes off it. So that right there is something really cool about silver, at least in my opinion. Now, in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing a clip from my most recent VIP Club live stream. I do them every single Wednesday night, and I also do monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts, and a whole lot more, so link in the description if you want to join the VIP club. But I'm going to show you a clip from the stream that explains in full detail what I'm talking about and what I mean when I say that there are excuses people make and why those excuses are not correct. I'm going to put the clip from the stream right here, and then I'm going to come back once the clip is over. And I have one other thing that I want to add to this video. So without any further ado, here's the clip. Here we go. Yes, I'm behind the eight ball, but better late than never. Absolutely, absolutely. I say it all the time. There are people in the world who aren't even going to start stacking silver until next year. There are people who have watched my videos, there are people who have watched other videos or have been told about silver that say, eh, you know what, maybe one day. And they'll, they will start stacking, eventually. So you're already way ahead of the game. We all are. So you say you've only been stacking for a few months, since March. I've been stacking for about three and a half years, and to be honest with you, even I feel brand new. I feel like a rookie. I feel like I just got started. You know, there's a lot of people out there who've been stacking for 10, 15 years, and they'll say, hey, three and a half years, that ain't nothing. That's no time at all. And they're right. 
in the grand scheme of things, three and a half years is not a very long time. So the whole better late than never thing, I would say that probably applies to all of us. Because I heard about silver about maybe two, uh, roughly two years before I started stacking silver. And I loved the concept at the time. I didn't. I never said no at the beginning. I never said, oh, that's stupid. No, no, not for me. I didn't say that. I thought it was awesome. I was just so distracted. I was, I was running a, a business at the time. A group of friends and I, we were like, you know, we were starting up a, a landscaping business, and I was also hired to do marketing for this company that would sell fitness programs and, like, you know, protein, nutrition supplements and stuff like that. So I was doing a lot of marketing for them, like social media marketing. So I was distracted. I didn't really have, at the time, I didn't think I had time to, you know, worry about coins. Come to find out, <laughs> it doesn't take any time at all to stack. You don't have to do anything. It's not a business. I mean, it can be. If you decide to run a business based around silver and gold. But it doesn't take any time at all to stack. How long does it take to just pop into a coin shop and just pick up a couple little pieces of silver? It takes the same amount of time as going to a McDonald's and picking up some french fries. It's the same thing. You're walking into a building and you're walking out with a product. Same thing. What was wrong with me? How did I not realize that? If you want to save even more time, just a couple clicks on your computer and boom, it shows up in your mailbox in a couple of days. It takes no time at all to stack silver. No time at all. So yeah, I, I never like the excuse, oh, I don't have the time. Like if, if, you, if, you don't, if you think you don't have the time to start a business, if you think you don't have the time to, you know, get yourself in the gym four, five, six days a week, if you don't think you have the time to do this or do that, that's fine. You know, it's okay. But if you think you don't have time to save money, what in the world is wrong with you? It doesn't even have to be silver or gold. It could be dollar bills. Oh, I don't have time. You don't have time to do what? Nothing? You don't have time to do nothing? But you got all the time in the world to do everything else? Come on, man. That's a non-excuse. Anybody could stack silver. Oh, I don't have the time. What time is required? Nothing at all. Oh, I don't have the money. Yeah, you're right you don't have the money. Because you're not stacking silver yet. That's why you don't have the money. When you start stacking silver, you'll be able to say, oh, I have the money now. Yeah, of course you don't have the money. you got to go and get the money first. No, I meant I don't have the currency. You don't have the currency? You can stop by a local coin shop and pick up one silver dime at a time if you needed. You have a dollar or two, trust me. You can get started stacking on a micro level if you needed to or if you simply wanted to. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't have... Okay, I, I have the time. I don't have the money because I haven't gotten it yet. Okay, I do have the currency, but I don't have the space. Okay, fine. Then consider going with gold instead. Gold takes up no room at all. When the gold to silver ratio was 1 to 100 last year, where's my pen? I use this pen as a pointer. When the gold to silver ratio was 1 to 100 last year, this right here, the 10 ounce silver bar, which is about this, a little bit smaller than a smartphone it takes up most of the room in your pocket this right here according to currency was valued at the same as one of these right here a little one tenth ouncer this right here the size of a fingernail size of a phone size of a fingernail at the time they were worth pretty much the exact same amount these right here same amount of currency so if you have the cash, but you don't have the space, I mean, if you haven't even started stacking silver yet, I don't think this right here is going to take up all the room in your house. 
But if you've been stacking silver for a little bit of time and you feel as though you're running out of space, trust me, I understand, I get it. Not everyone has, you know, a nice big house. Some people live in, you know, a little one-bedroom apartment with, with two other people. I get it. I understand. Trust me. Believe me. I don't have all that much space either. But if space is an issue, gold can help solve that problem a little bit. Now, friendly reminder, the gold to silver ratio is no longer 1 to 100. It's like 1 to 68-ish right now. But still... The message still stands. You can save a lot of space with gold as opposed to silver. Even if it's a troy ounce to a troy ounce, a troy ounce of gold is smaller than a troy ounce of silver. They're different metals. They weigh different amounts. Like a pound of rocks versus a pound of feathers, they're both a pound, but one is friggin' an entire house worth of feathers and the other one is just one simple rock. Very bad analogy, but I was just trying to paint a picture. They're different sizes, but they weigh the same amount. Gold is just a little bit heavier than silver. So it's a little bit smaller in size. In fact, I mean, I don't have one, but the little silver eagle over here, if there was such a, such a thing as a three quarter ounce silver eagle that would be roughly the size of a troy ounce of gold approximately somewhere around there so yeah no more excuses i don't have the time i don't have the money i don't have the currency i don't have the space do not say that and nobody watching this video says that by the way if you're watching this video, especially this far into the video, you're probably stacking. But if there's anybody out there who has made that excuse or thinks that that's an excuse of theirs, it's not an excuse. You can say this, however. I don't have the desire. I don't have the self-discipline. I don't have the will. I'm not motivated to do it. I'm not interested in doing it. That goes for everything, by the way. Not just stacking silver and gold. I'm not trying to convince anybody to stack. If you don't want to stack, do not stack. More for me. That's fine. But if you don't want to do something, just be honest. You ain't lying to me. You're lying to yourself. So yeah, that was about an eight-minute clip from my most recent VIP club live stream. Believe it or not, even though the clip was only like eight minutes or so, the stream itself was almost four minutes hours long a vip club record i love streaming i do them every single week pretty soon i would like to do them potentially twice a week and of course i also do monthly giveaways daily silver and gold deal alerts and a whole lot more again friendly reminder i'll leave the link in the description in case anybody wants to become a vip club member i guarantee you the value exceeds the cost but moving forward i countered three objections in that clip about how silver could potentially be a waste of time, could be a waste of money, could be a waste of space. Those are completely irrelevant to me in one ear and out the other because I know that they are not true. I know that they make absolutely no sense. But I wanted to add something because there's a fourth excuse. And I don't even know if it's fair to call it an excuse. Probably makes more sense to call it a concern. And it has a lot to do with how the clip from the stream started out. When we talked about how better late than never, talked about how a little bit ahead of the game by getting started stacking when we did, even if you got started stacking today, by the way, you're still ahead of the game. So the concern that some people have is that maybe they waited too long. Maybe they missed the boat. Maybe the opportunity has already passed. Maybe it's too late to begin. And I just wanted to say that that's not true. I personally believe that silver has plenty of room to grow. I personally believe that there is so unbelievably much potential for performance, for growth. I think silver 
could really, really, really step up, especially with inflation appearing to be right around the corner and over an extended period of time, silver is likely to become more and more scarce, more and more rare. And you know what happens when the demand exceeds the supply. Prices go up. That goes for absolutely everything. So I personally believe that silver will see some healthy growth. I personally believe that as the dollar bill devalues and depreciates, silver will appreciate in value, dollar bill value that is. And I know that a lot of people are kind of discouraged because the spot price is a little bit up there right now. It's in the mid 20s, 25, 26, 27 dollars fluctuating. I know the premiums are still a little bit wacky. I know that spot price plus the average premium equates to what I came up with. It's called the stack price, the out the door grand total amount of dollar bills that you have to convert into each individual troy ounce of silver. I understand that the stack price is usually somewhere between 30 and $35 nowadays. But it's important to remember, we've seen $50 silver in the past. We've seen it on two occasions. We've seen silver go up to the $50 mark. We've seen silver really begin to climb. Of course it's come back down since then, hence why it's in the mid-20s right now. We know for a fact that silver can hit $50. We don't know for a fact that silver can sustain itself at $50. We don't know if it can hit 50 and stay there, but we know that it can make it there. And if you're looking for growth, if you're looking for the metals to perform or appreciate in value over time. If you take today's stack price and compare it to the spot price that we've seen in the past, $50, also important to remember, we have no idea what the premiums would be like moving forward into the future if and when silver goes back to 50 bucks, which I believe it will. I don't know for sure, by the way. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel has ever been financial advice, so do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off your conclusions, not mine. But the conclusion that I came to was that if silver goes back to 50 bucks, one could probably assume that the premiums might actually climb up a little bit more as well. Premiums nowadays, on average, maybe about five bucks. So who knows, if spot price went back to 50, what could the premiums do? Go to 10? That would be, $60 stack price, when right now we're looking at about maybe about $32 stack price, give or take. Going from 32 to 60, it's a pretty big jump. Might not seem like that big of a jump in the grand scheme of things because it's only 50 bucks or only 60 bucks, whatever it is. But I do believe silver has room to grow and perform over time. So if you feel like you missed the boat, if you feel like it's too late, I don't believe it is. Now, like I said in the clip, if you do your own research and come to your own conclusion and still find that you don't want to stack, then do not stack. This video is not to convince anyone of anything. I don't believe in convincing anybody. I don't like the word convince. I don't try to convince people. That's not something that I believe in. I can do this though. I can encourage you to consider doing some more research. Evaluate, study the charts, study the graphs, study the trends, study a variety of different markets. Keep an open mind, pay close attention, keep your head on a swivel, obviously, but take it into consideration as a way of storing value and as a way of preserving wealth. Because I've been doing it for not very long at all, to some people out there, three and a half years is a long time, so. I've been doing it for three and a half years and it's really, really, really been paying off. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what are your thoughts on some of the objections or some of the excuses that some people come up with as to why they don't want to stack the precious metals.
And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? What type of excuses have you heard people make? Or what type of excuses did you make in the past? Because like I said in the clip, my excuse was that I didn't really think I had the time for it. I realized later on that time isn't really required. Of course, it takes time to set and reach a silver and or gold stacking goal. But the actual acquisition of silver takes no time at all. I was just very distracted at the time. And that was an excuse that I guess you can say that I made. I'm curious if you've ever heard people say that they don't have the time for it, or they don't have the money or the currency for it, or they don't have the space for it, or potentially maybe they had the concern that it's too late to get started. Maybe they waited too long or they discovered it too late in the game. All the excuses, all of the concerns, at least in my opinion, are wrong. I think right now is arguably the best time to be stacking silver. You know what they say about planting a tree. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is today. Do with that what you will. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.